Well, good morning. It's been a fantastic morning. You've been nice and loud and it's great to be able to see you all getting into that worship as well. With no actions up on the screen, you're still passionately worshipping God. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, this series, as you've heard, is all about knowing God. Can anyone remember what our topic was? Theo, what? Can you do it with me? One, two, three. Theo, what? All right. Well, Theo, what? Like, they actually means something. So let me get into that. So we're actually talking about theology. So can you say that with me as well? Theology. theology. It's a big word, and it's a pretty old word as well. So theology means studying or understanding God. The theo part actually means God. And theology is all about studying and understanding and seeking. And so when we talk about God, when we ask questions about God, and even when we're thinking about God, did you know that you are doing theology? How cool is that? You can go home and say, hey, I've done some theology this morning. That's great. Go and tell your parents, go and tell your friends something pretty cool that you are doing. But see, the thing is, is that often we're actually quite forgetful. Who here is forgetful? Who forgets things from time to time, has a holiday brain? Yep, that's what I thought. And it's okay. Like we just saw in that Bible clip ways that even in the Bible it tells us to have reminders. But I thought about something that I had as a reminder for me. So a little bit of a story with this. Back sort of helping people prepare for Easter, there's this time called Lent where for 40 days they would give something up anticipating that exciting time of Easter of Jesus being resurrected. And so what they would do is they would stop doing something for 40 days. Now, in today's world, people might stop having junk food, stop watching movies, stop listening to music. They give something up. Back in the olden days, they used to actually stop eating food for a period of time to prepare themselves for Jesus and for God and for everything else that was coming with that. And... A couple of years ago, my wife and I, Jess, we did the same thing. We actually stopped eating for 40 days. Who thinks that's really hard? Trust me, it was. I went through it. I lost, yep, it was painful. We didn't eat any food. We only had water, broth, which is like the the liquid in soup, and then we had meal replacement shakes. Parents, we didn't do it really sillily. We actually looked after ourselves. But as you could imagine, only having water and broth, do you think we got hungry all the time? Yeah, and I would use that hunger, that, oh, I need to eat something, as a reminder to go, why why am I doing this? I'm doing this for God. I'm doing this as a reminder to seek God. So every time I got hungry, and I got hungry a lot, I would take a time to pray and think about God. It was my reminder that God is what I need to think about. I need to seek. I need to understand. And that was my reminder. In the Bible verse that we watched We saw the wristbands, we saw the forehead bands, we saw writing it on people's door frames. They were the reminders that they had to think about God because we forget seeking God every day. And our big idea, can everyone say our big idea? Can you remember it? There is no one like our God. So if there is no one like our God, we should remember that, we should seek that and we should understand it. Our Bible verse for today, Deuteronomy 4.39, as we've been talking about, know and believe today that the Lord is God. He is God in heaven and on the earth below and there is no other God. So if God is that great, should we learn more about him? If God is that great, should we learn more about him? That's what I thought. So with that, I want to ask some questions, and for those who are watching live, maybe you want to type them in on the the live chat um, at the bottom of the screen. Who thinks coming to Sunday is enough for us to learn about God? No. That's good. We need more than that. Who thinks they already know everything they need to know about God? That's what I thought. We always want to learn more. We always want to find out more. And maybe there's actually things that we want to know. Questions that we need to read in our Bible and to pray and to worship over to learn more about God. And to do that, we need to know God every single day. Our questions are really important, but we've actually got to seek God every single day. And so with that, I want to ask some questions. And again, for those who are watching on our YouTube stream, maybe you want to type them in and there might be some great reminders there for those who are watching at home. But for those that are here with me in the room, what are some great ways that we can seek God? God? What are ways that we can get in touch with God on our daily basis? Yep. 
pray. Great. Praying is a really great one. We can do that at any time, any place, and we can pray. We can ask questions about God. We can also give things to God to go, I don't know what to do with this, but I trust you, and I understand that you know what's going on. Worship. So singing, dancing, praising our God. There is so much that comes through that. It actually gets our heart ready to think about God so many times. Read the Bible. Fantastic. I feel like you're reading my notes here, all of you. This is fantastic. But reading the Bible, actually sitting down and taking a moment just to read something new in the Bible or go back and read something that you've read before because it's incredible when you go back and you're like, I didn't see that before. And that is what is so cool about reading the Bible every day. You find out more and more. Anything else? Anything else that we can do? I've got a couple more. So one of the things that I think about is like actually just saying like a blessing and grace before meals, saying thank you God for what I have. This is incredible. And that time of prayer and it just puts your heart in the right spot to think about things. Praying together as a family and praying together with people that you trust because then you can ask questions and learn with others as well. And actually having trusted people around you is really, really important. And so with that, they are all things that we can do every single day. Whether you need a reminder, whether you need an alarm clock, whether you need something to go, I need to do this before I eat or first thing in the morning or maybe on the way to school, take control of the music that's in the car and play some worship music like the song that we just heard. But whatever you can, do something to remind yourself to seek God every single day. Now, it's not easy. I will say that. You've got to focus on this. You've got to think about this. And this is why we're doing a series on this, so that you can actually go, I want to seek God. I need to find those times to pray, to worship, to read. And it takes some dedication. But I know each and every one of you, in your heart, that you want to seek God. And sometimes we don't get it right every time, but we try again and we try again. And so with that, then we can start asking questions of our God. And so I want to ask some questions of you just as we wrap up. Can anyone remember what theology is about? Yes? Seeking God, understanding God and studying God, that's good. And should we learn more about God every single day? Yes. And so you've got to find those ways, those reminders to go, how do I seek God? How do I pray? How am I going to worship? How am I going to read my Bible? Whatever it takes. Think about how you can bring that into your life every single day so that you can know God more, you can ask those big questions, and you can learn more. And one of the people that I love to ask questions about is Melissa, who's going to come and join me on stage as we pray. All right, so if we just want to bow our heads and pray. Thank you, God, that we can know you and that we have people around us that can help us and remind us with this. Our leaders here at Hope Discovery Kids, our family, our friends, and so much more. Thank you for the Bible, thank you for worship, thank you for prayer, and thank you for all the ways that we can know you more. God, please help us to find time every day to seek you, to know you, and to know that we need to be listening to you. And we pray all these things in your mighty name. Amen.